Welcome back to the Jack Racing YouTube channel. Welcome back to the shop. It's a kind of a good news, bad news day. The bad news is we don't get to race the pro truck today. The weather in Florida here this week has been awful. The track has basically been washed out all week, so we are not racing today. Maybe a small chance we can go get some practice laps tomorrow. But the good news is we now have a day to work on the cup car here. So plan is we're going to start cleaning this frame up. You can see there's surface rust. There's grease there's all sorts of all sorts of nasty stuff up here so we're gonna back this thing out get the power washer out clean it up work on getting some of this surface rust out of here and uh, see if we can find a color of paint to match this and get it all freshened up um, yeah we don't get to race but we get to still work on a race car so let's back it out and get this thing all cleaned up Go get some super clean. I'm gonna eat a piece of Florida problems. That was right above our heads the whole time. We didn't even know. Day two of grinding all the surface rust off the NASCAR. We've got a couple boxes full of little whipper wheels. We've got a box of paint. And hopefully we're going to get some of this wrapped up today. It went really well yesterday. Everything we got done, we got a ton of that surface rust out of here. This is looking a lot better. We're going to be able to paint all this. We've got a color we think is mostly going to match. And uh, yeah, we're going to burn through a couple more wheels, getting everything cleaned up as much as we can. And we'll... Uh, Get some paint on it, get it looking pretty again, and we might get it up on jack stands, take some of the wheels off, see what we have for a rear gear, see what we have for brakes, and see what we're going to need to do to get that stuff freshened up. So hopefully this is going to be a good day full of cleaning everything up, making some stuff pretty, and then learning a lot more about what we have. Let's try and get some more of these mm -hmm. spots here, but otherwise it's pretty close. Get the visible rust off you know, yeah wherever you can yeah, and maybe around here where you, you gotta wait till we take it apart we just won't paint that yet you know? yeah
So we tried a couple of different paint colors here. This one didn't quite do what we wanted to do. I covered up the test spot already. We tried one over here that we actually had used on the truck and it is uh, too silver compared to the paint color on here. We're trying to match it as close as we can and we think we found a winner. It's actually this uh, Joanna Gaines paint from HGTV but this paint color here looks pretty darn close to the original so we're gonna roll with this one give it a nice fresh look I'm at the point here where most of this metal is cleaned up enough that we can paint over it so I'm gonna start painting and make this thing look as good as we can There we go, look at that. That made a huge difference up here. It looks way better than it did. I'm really excited now because I'm just imagining when we get to the rest of the car, get the interior all cleaned up, get it all looking like this. This thing's gonna look brand new like it did in the 90s. But yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video right now. Our next plans for the car are gonna be to keep doing this the rest of the way back. We've obviously still got a lot of work to do on the interior. And uh, yeah, the rear end's gonna need some cleaning up, but little by little, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up, painted, looking fresh. And uh, yeah, other than that, the next thing we're gonna do is get this thing up in the air, get the tires and suspension off, see what kind of brakes we have, tear the rear end apart, probably pull the third member out, see what we got there, try and figure out what gear ratio we have. And uh, yeah, just learn a little bit more about the setup. We've already been thinking about what we're gonna do for an engine and transmission. We have a pretty good idea yet. I'm not gonna say it yet though in case the plan doesn't work out. We're gonna try and keep it kinda close to what it would have been, but also something a little more practical than a probably $20,000 motor in there. So yeah, just gonna keep cleaning things up. We'll, uh, we'll show you everything else we do, but for now, we're making some progress and I think we are well on our way to having a very, very awesome project when this is all said and done. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.